Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your June 2020 reading. This will be uh, mid-month, mid-month, however, uh, end of the month. Are, um, you know, these readings are basically timeless, so however it resonates with you and it, this could be energies around you or this could definitely be your energies that you're dealing with at this time. However, um, these energies come up for a specific reason. For your highest good okay Sagittarius now this could be Sun moon rising as well so if it doesn't resonate please check with your other signs and if you don't know what that is go to astro.com and you could get your natal chart as well as your birth chart it's the same thing spirit guides guardian angels what is the message here for Sag June 2020 or whenever they tune into this reading Sagittarius Sagittarius what is being hidden from Sagittarius what is being shown why is Sagittarius attracting this And the outcome. Okay. Okay, so we have a candy cane angel. It's time for a treat. Okay, so basically what is being shown to you now is that, you know, you've been doing the work. You've been doing the things that... Um, inspire you that bring you to um, your full potential so to say okay or at least you are working towards that you are treating yourself this is time for you to you know um, to say say this is like you know you you've been working out for a straight month you know every day non-stop so this is like you going to get treating yourself to a massage um, going out to eat to a nice dinner um, something to that effect, okay? So, let me see something. Sagittarius, that's really awesome. I like to see that, okay? Um, that means you're stepping up here. Let's see. Yeah, it's saying it's definitely time for you to have a treat um, to so that you can be satisfied, you know. I mean, it's like you reached your goals or you have been reaching your goals and you need to give to yourself, reward yourself, okay. Um, have some fun. Do something that you like to do, okay. Um, whether it is, you know, going hiking, going uh, shopping. Are just doing some sort of new experience that's going to raise your vibration. It's telling you to, you know, you deserve the luxury that is being offered to you, you know. For some people, you're like, oh, I can't do that. I can't have that. Some, uh, you know, some Sagittarians are, you know, they have this strict um, working out, you know, going by this plan. And some, go ahead, do that. But this is saying, this is, you know, what is being shown to you that, hey, you have progressed, okay. You have moved forward. So it is time for you to... Um, give back to yourself in such a way where you can feel rewarded so that it can keep you moving okay now what is being hidden from you is we have faces faceless ghosts okay now these could be people um, talking behind their back so to say there is two people here I feel like you do know who these people are um, number seven is coming out Um, intuitively, I feel like you know who these people are, okay, and these people could definitely be um, 
lowering your vibration, not only lowering your vibration, but it's like they always need something or, you know, they're always looking at you for something or um, they're just a low vibration fields of energy that really attach to low vibrational energy, basically, okay? And um, that's why it's called faceless ghost. It's like being two-faced, okay? Um, and I'm not saying you, I'm saying the people around you. And it's like you know who these people are. You know who these people could be, you know? It's like... There's no, there's no joy. It's not fun, you know. Um, it's like, you know, they're trying to, to get you to, you know, um, step back, okay, instead of moving forward. That's what I'm getting. And you know this because this is basically being shown to you. But what you're not seeing is that you ha have planted that seed of intention to move forward. And basically that's what you're doing. Okay. Why are you attracting this? Because it says, um, I am Kylie. Okay. And it says from death comes rebirth. And this is number 13. We do have four strong here and seven. And, and your intuition is really speaking to you. You know who these people are. You're really going through a big transformation. For some of you, this is about, you know, releasing people, places, things, moving um, to a very high vibrational spiritual connection within yourself, okay? Um, you're really working on yourself, working on your outer appearance as well as your inner appearance, okay? Um, now, this is definitely extremely powerful cord. I mean, if you look at this card, she's wearing these skulls around her neck, okay? So it's like, you have to choose a side is basically what it's saying. Um, it says you're working with the energy of fire of the dancing mother goddess who will teach you how to go through the change you have been resisting and feeling was too much and who will purify and change everything you must not stay still with this energy movement is essential for working with her so this is about moving this is about dancing this is about you know um purification Okay, this is that stell energy right here. This is moving away from that stell energy. This is not, you know, um, giving negative energy attention, okay, so to say. I'm also getting a strong energy of three, okay? And, you know, a life path number three, seven, um, actually two, and four. But, let's see, uh... And five as well, okay? So what this is, is a rebirth. It is a change in direction, a change in growth, okay? A spirituality awakening. A truth has been spoken to you, to your heart, okay? Not only that, but it is... Um, not forgetting... Okay, not forgetting about what has happened because this is a huge transformation. Again, we have uh, another transition here. Okay, transition to the spiritual realm. And a lot of this is um, about you having to leave the past behind, moving forward again. And it's a really basically a very strong energy of... Uh, Yeah, this energy is definitely saying, look, you know, you have, there is a door open for you and you have planted that seed of intention to move forward. So therefore you can't go backwards because once you go backwards, it's like you might not see this door open again. 
okay and that's why she's holding her heart here as you can see because and she's also holding her heart so this door is open and then it's closed and if you see at this let me hold these up for you guys so if you see you know the door is open with Kylie and then it's closed in a fist so this is a sense of look you have planted that seed of intention it's open um this is your true desire your true transformation there are people around you and we'll get to that in a minute that is being shown to you you know who these people are but definitely go and treat yourself okay and move away from these negative energies because they're not growing they're not going anywhere Spirit guides, guardian angels. This is for Sagittarius, June 2020. For their highest good. I just want to get some clarifiers for this reading here for the faceless ghost. Okay, we have your intuition. Again, like I said, you know, uh, the high priestess. This is. Uh, female energy this is being not, it's not it's being closed off but yet knowing knowing within the truth where the truth lies uh been underneath the surface okay this is a sense of seeing yourself through other people okay and there's that doorway you know it's seeing yourself through other people but also you know realizing that i can't handle all this you know this is the 10. This is the 10 of wands. This is Sagittarius energy. This is releasing. This is letting go. Okay. And, um, you know, really shedding that skin, uh, setting an intention to shed that skin of, of, uh, you know, just that old, that, you know, out with the old in with the new and the door is opening here with Aries. Okay. A strong Aries sign here. Let me pick these cards up down here. We have the tower, and the tower is in reverse with the four of wands, but I don't read off the floor here. So for some of you, it could be like, you know, you're holding on and you're not wanting to let go. For others of you, you know, this is about a lot of you. This is definitely good, especially if you're tuning in right now to this uh, station, to this channel, to my channel, Hollier 411 Tarot. This is your Sagittarius. You're going through a huge change. And keep on going. Don't stop. Don't give up. Um, you know, this is, oh, being very successful. Okay, you will be successful. This is Leo energy. This is having recognition. This is also, this also talks about, uh, you know, the people that you are around, they see that you are moving forward. And that is definitely, um, it could be, wow. Okay, so these cards are wanting to fall out could be yeah the seven of swords okay holding back some sort of completion okay and then we have the ten of cups here so there is a sense of uh let me put these here okay being successful completing a task a task that had ended okay or that is ending Okay, perhaps you're not telling people this, perhaps you're holding back, perhaps you're just like taking your sense and knowledge and you're moving along with it, okay, but there is still a loss, okay, there's still a loss because it's like you want to help people, you want to take these people with you that you have bonded with, okay, but these negative energies or whatever it is, um, they're not feeling this or they, there's some sort, it's like, I don't know let's get some clarifying cards for the ten of cups i'm seeing aquarius leo i'm also seeing cancer sagittarius and aries wow okay so we have on the bottom of the deck here is we have temperance this is you okay this is you balancing out the unfulfillment that you're having with this change okay and that's why we have the king of cups pisces cancer scorpio with a you fire sign here but this is actually paired up with the ten of cups um this is an offer being offered to you okay this could also represent a child but this could also be a um 
This is Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy. This is an opportunity to grow. This is an expansion. This is something within the physical that is a, a new start. This could be an apology, okay? This could also be a, uh, an understanding about, you know, uh, needing to, not only needing to, but having this patience, okay? And slowing down and filling out your emotions before you take action, okay? Because you're starting to understand these feelings. What is the Seven of Swords? Spirit guides, guardian angels for Sagittarius. We have healing. Okay, so after the tower comes the um, star card. So after the tower, after the big huge storm, there is hope. There is a rebuild. There is, this is that electric energy, okay? It's like that, um, that fire and water. It comes of a new birth. It comes from a manifestation of truth, of knowledge, of understanding. We have the King of Swords, the King of Wands, and the King of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. We have competition here, okay? So there is a sense of going through some sort of energy. So you could be leaving behind um, someone or somebody I get, or uh, some friends, a situation. Um, you're struggling with yourself. Maybe it is that you are having to choose between um, a couple of different, um, maybe it is that it's like your friends. It's like, really, I'm seeing this as you, Sagittarius. Okay, now you could be dealing with a an air sign, fire, another fire sign, or a water sign, or a younger earth sign. Okay, but with this energy, um, Let's see, Aquarius. Okay, so you could have been walking away from Aquarius. I mean, not Aquarius, but uh, walking away from this Ten of Cups energy. And that's why you definitely uh, feel this loss. You feel this hurt, okay? You had to make a bold decision, okay? Now, it left you in this energy of feeling all your emotions, okay, from not feeling your emotions to feeling your emotions. And basically now it's like there could be some communication coming your way or this could be definitely you moving towards um, victorious, courageous, taking an offer that has been presented to you right at, right in front of you, okay? For some of you, uh, this is about working on yourself and being very successful and especially with that nine of coins you know it's like thinking about taking a new position also a new uh a new job opportunity um but it's like having to walk away from one from an old job or an old position to something new okay it's queen of cups Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy on the bottom. This is the eight of swords. So this is feeling stuck, trapped in your mind. Okay, this is conflict over, um, we have Virgo energy here. Maybe it is that you didn't plan well whenever you invest. Maybe it is that you invested too much into a relationship that you had gotten stuck into. And now it is that you're moving out of that situation, okay? Um, Yeah, it's like you've already made this decision to walk away, to move away. Okay, so there's that tower moment again. So this is communication. I feel like with the tower, this could be Scorpio energy as well. But this energy is like, um, this is communication. This is a, a sharp edge a uh, double-edged sword. This is truth. This is honesty. This is communication. This is transformation. This is seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. This is not being trapped in fear, but yet um, coming out of this tower moment. You know, um, it was not not built on a strong foundation. Therefore, this tower falls, but it's almost, it's like you're going through this process, okay? And you're halfway there. You're more than halfway there, okay? Um, I do feel like there is, um, this is you right here. 
uh, Sagittarius, I really feel like this underlying energy, you could be dealing with um, a divine masculine here, but this is someone who is very grounded. This is this could definitely be your energy as well, but this is someone who is very grounded, someone who knows what they want, someone who um, has to set up boundaries so that, you know, this tower doesn't happen again. This is having a strong belief system and a strong living organization, okay? And this is basically, you know, you speaking your truth, speaking your word, how it's meant to be, how how you want it to be, basically set in your ways and setting your ways of, in, in, of an intention, okay? But then we have, you know, someone here is definitely daydreaming or thinking about you, wanting to reach out to you. Um, and I feel like there's boundaries around this person or there will be some sort of communication coming through from this person. Okay. Um, let's see, I'm going to pick, no, actually I'm going to leave all these cards here and I want to just see for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. I want to see what this. Emperor, Emperor is spirit guides, guardian angels. I love this little deck right here. This is the White Sage. Uh, let's see. White Sage Tarot. Okay, so spirit guides for Sagittarius highest good, please. Show us, give us some clarifying cards for the Emperor. Okay, so this is setting up boundaries. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could be dealing with someone who is, you know, you're just holding on. Um, you're holding on. You have a lot of, a lot of energy for someone, but you have to set up boundaries. King of Wands, here you are setting a boundary, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. This is that beetle. This is knowing and believing in yourself that you can spark from basically anything and grow, okay? Just like that lotus flower, um, you know, coming up from that milky water and just blossoming and blooming so beautifully. So the King of Wands, it represents really taking that action, taking that um, a moment of inspiration and moving forward. This is seeing it at a bigger perspective and knowing exactly what you want, okay? Um, but the devil here, it does represent... Now, you could be on the cups as well um, with Capricorn, but this is holding on, you know, not giving up in your belief system, not backing down as well, although there is a sense of wanting to preserve and move forward. We do have eight and nine. So this is a progression. This is moving forward. You are going to speak your truth. I feel like you will speak your truth with a little, um, or there is someone coming in here, okay, that you are going to have to set up your boundaries with and be more assertive maybe, okay, for some of you. Not only is it be more assertive, but it's like you walked away from this person and uh, now you're just setting up boundaries around that energy that involves, you know, um, fear. There's a lot of fear-based energies. Uh, let's get some more clarifying cards. Yeah, six of pentacles, six of pentacles, the sun, and the hierophant. Okay, so you're really healing from a heartache, from a heartbreak. From this is number five as well. Um, we have an ending here. We also, when endings come, there's new beginnings. So you see the light at the end of the tunnel. You have to set up boundaries around people that don't serve you for your highest good that are not equal, equally um, give and take, okay? This is you, Sagittarius, going in and, you know, really withdrawing, taking care of yourself, holding that seat of intention, that key. It opens up the door for bigger opportunities heading your way, which is very beautiful, okay? So... Um, that's what I see you doing this week, okay? Um, and, you know, with this Taurus energy here, I feel like you gave and gave and gave, and then it's like they put you out in the cold. But, hey, you know what? It's not gonna, it's not gonna bother you because you are definitely stepping your game up here, and you are planning ahead with that Virgo energy, and you, uh, it's like, you know, you just wanted to see what this person was going to do, basically, okay? Um... I do want to get a card for this energy, and I want to see Queen of Coins, Queen of Coins. This is Taurus energy for 
Okay, so Queen of Pentacles, again, this is the same energy. This is basically knowing where you belong. It's reminding me home is where the heart is here. And then we have the three of uh, pentacles. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, someone wasn't working together with you or there wasn't, um, it was like, you know, you were giving and they were not as well. Okay, so you could be dealing with, uh, the star card represents Aquarius. This is about healing though. The star, it brings in, yeah, so you're feeling left out in the cold, conflict, um, with this three of pentacles here and the ten of pentacles again let's get one more card here ten of pentacles the four of pentacles okay so someone was definitely holding off okay um it was like you know um, strength was needed strength was needed to gain what i'm getting here is like you were the mother bear here okay or you were giving way too much and the other side was not uh what wasn't giving as well you know you have the ten of pentacles here you wanted um basically um you know we have two queen of pentacles i mean this is double energy right here you gave it's like you gave all your emotions you gave uh, in the physical um you cared this is like a motherly care you know you have strength you have boldness but there is a sense of you know just giving It's almost like you gave, you see how this bear has one foot out and one foot tucked back in. So it was like you were going to, but then you caught yourself in the mix, okay? You caught yourself in, in the mix and you started realizing what, what needed to be done, you know? You started realizing, um, is it being given back to me, you know? You started seeing that three of pentacles here, how it's not. Uh, how, how you've been left out in the cold, okay, and how it wasn't, um, it wasn't coming to you, you know, it, this person was not giving back to you as you was giving to them, so you basically moved your energy and your emotions to inward, toward yourself, and you set up boundaries and are being definitely very successful with that. Sagittarius okay let's see we're on 2741 right now so what I'm gonna look at is these monology cards let me see spirit guides guardian angels this is for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus this is for their highest good So we're going to look at the issue. We're going to do fire, air, earth, and water, the elements right here with this Moonology deck, okay? Um, but it's also going to show the issue, okay? How to solve it. It's also going to show the emotions behind it um, that needs to be released or it needs to be gained and the water and that's how to move forward, how to flow with the issue. Spirit guides, guardian angels, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see the elements. So this is earth. A void. Okay, the void. The void comes right before the new moon. Okay. This is about relaxing. This is about taking care of yourself. This is, you know, uh, crawling up in your bed, just watching that good movie, worrying about you, taking that nice bath. Uh, meditation, listening to some calming music, reading that book, doing what you do for yourself and for your family, for your people, for your loved ones around you, okay? This is you taking care of yourself and giving to yourself, okay? And we also have, um, so that's the earth, okay? So that's very grounded energy, okay? So getting yourself grounded is the issue right here. Okay, and then, okay, so you could be dealing with, um, and I was going to say this earlier, with, with that 10 of, where is it at? With that 10 of wands, somewhere around here, um, you know, dealing with a twin flame, okay, dealing with 
you know, reflect reflection, okay? Um, Self-reflection. This is um, seeing yourself in someone else, realizing what, you know, you have attracted, why you have attracted this, and what needs to be healed, and then going with that and understanding that and realizing that, and my lights keep on flickering on and off here, and moving forward, okay? So... This is having strength, having boldness. This is also a sense of knowing. It's like you know this person, you're there for this person. But it's also um, healing. You have to take the time out to heal. Because otherwise it's just going to be a karmic situation. You know, and it's never going to move forward. Okay, that's the air. That's air energy. So that's how you can um, solve the energy by healing yourself. Let's see the four, the fire, the emotions. Oh, say, okay, so we have focus here, which is basically 14, and 14 is what is the temperance. This is, um, you know, being under pressure, but still having that control of um, knowing how you feel within your emotions and where you're going, where you're blossoming. Look at that butterfly on her forehead. This is a sense of staying focused, staying grounded, having that white light, you know, all around you, being protected by the universe, by God's source, the universe, and knowing that you are protected and receiving that energy from above within okay this is opening up that crown chakra opening up your heart chakra as well and just receiving all these energies and then boom we have this new beginning coming in and we ha do have a new moon coming on the 21st i believe correct me if i'm wrong you know but uh i believe it is like the 21st so anyways um let me see Yeah, that's on Father's Day as well, okay? So, this is new beginnings. This is the new moon. Um, we have doors opening. Again, this is that door that's opening. All you have to do is stay focused. Treat yourself. Reward yourself. Give yourself that ambition to move forward so that you can progress, okay, and move. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have fruitation. So, you're harvesting. You're harvesting. You're watering. Your crops right now but I feel like in the future if you keep on doing what you're doing you will reap your rewards or some of you are reaping your rewards okay I want to pull a couple of romance angel cards um, I'm not gonna go too much in debt with these however spirit guides guardian angels this is for Sagittarius look at these cards okay I'm not gonna use those this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If there is anything that needs to be shown with the Romance Angel card, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, please, for the highest good. Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-June 2020. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in love. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You are manifesting. You can manifest. You can manifest everything you that comes to you. This is being, you know, flirting. You know, extending that that loving energy out. Okay. We have healing family issues on the bottom, so you could be going through a time where you and or someone or um, there could be definitely a lover that you have a lot of passion for. Okay. Um, allow your heart. It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. It's saying flirt, but just be very open as well. Um, not that, like too open, you know what I mean? I mean, just like um, a lighthearted energy, just being and listening. But I feel like it is with a partner because you guys have a, definitely a lot of passion. And I feel like with healing fam family issues, Pay attention to the red flags as well. Some of you guys did not see these or, uh, these red flags that were being shown to you, okay? It's like staying in a situation where you needed to leave at that moment, you know, or at that time, um, within that timeline. Um, and, you know, that's okay. Uh, some of you guys needed to stay in a situation a little bit longer to progress and learn from it, okay? So that's probably why, um, you know, 
the tower come up right here because this is clearly deciding what you want so that it comes to you now being very successful setting up boundaries around you know um people places and things brings in new beginnings and it's also bringing in focus and on your energy and you know staying lively and happily with that i love this energy sagittarius if you like it please subscribe to my channel hit the bell button as well um you know share it and you guys leave me a comment i love reading your comments thank you so very much later